What's up guys? I'm going to do a breakdown of Rod Tang versus Jonathan Haggerty, number two. Um, feels like I'm watching the second movie in a series before watching the first one, but that's okay. I've been requested this one by uh, Barbara Frey, so shout outs to Fraser. Um, so I might as well get straight into it. I haven't seen this fight, so I'm not sure, sure what happens here. I don't know who wins. But uh, let's let's see what happens. Straight into it. I'm gonna turn this volume down. You see already that height difference, and uh, Jonathan Haggerty is planning on, like, just judging by his weight, is distributed. It's Planning on spending most of his time on the outside. Little eye poke, okay. eh? Yeah, it looks like he's planning on spending most of his time on the outside. Which is the obvious thing to do if you're the taller fighter, right? Um, yeah. So he's just, just staying out of reach. You know, just that little movement back with his hips to get out of the way of those kicks. Really, really great distancing, actually, from Haggerty. Nice body shot from Rod Tang. So if I'm a betting man watching um, from this first little bit. <laughs> wow. Wow, a lot just happened just then. Hang on, let's go back. Rod, first of all, Rod Tang punches himself in the face. And it obviously worked because he just rips a massive body shot off the end of that. Wow. Haggerty looks dirty at himself. Looks almost shitty like, fuck, how did I let that happen? Just a stinger, but he's good to, he seems good to go again. Nice tip to the face. Hard to do, especially from close range. This is a busy fight. Sorry if I'm talking over all the action right now. Nice leg kick. Okay, so let's go back and watch that quickly. See, Haggerty overextends on that right hand, which put him in a bad position for the left hook, if I remember correctly. So here we go, throws that right hand. Elbow it was. So put him, he threw that right, ball overextended. He was there. Uh, Rod Tang's in a great position just to roll that elbow. He didn't have to, he didn't have to do anything because Haggerty did the work by coming in for him. This is going to be a busy fight, so I might be pausing this a lot. Again, he, he might be a little bit keen here, um, Haggerty. Just like judging by that again, it looked like he overextended on the jab as well. He might be a bit sh shook after that body shot. See, so just out of, off balance for a second after he throws that jab. Just a bit like overextended, which is probably... It's probably kind of shitty after getting dropped and, he's, and he wants to come back and, uh, and sort of assert his dominance again, which you have to do. Nice. So what happened there? Why did that sweep not work? It looks like he tried to get that lead leg Trying to get that leg and, and Rod Tang just stepped over the top of it. That was rear leg actually. Yeah, rear leg. But see, he's pulled him a lot. Instead of pulling him, like it's always very hard, you know, in, in the heat of the moment, there's a number of things that can go wrong when trying to sweep. Instead of pulling him forward where his weight, he'd want to step forward, being around the side, he's able to step over that leg and sort of catch it that way. If he's gone straight forward, it'd be a lot harder. Be more likely to go down. I mean, I'm an armchair critic over here saying that, you know, these guys are beasts. But, um, it's a long time. Missed it. There it is. Yeah, see how you pulled him off to the side so he's able to step over that, over that foot. If you pulled him more forward, he probably would have caught that foot. It would have been harder for Rod Tang to regain that balance, possibly sweeping him. Nice body shot from Rod Tang. 
Yeah, so Haggerty's come back to now staying back on the outside, which is probably a wise option, being that he's the taller fighter and that's where his advantage is. So it looks like he got caught up for a second, really trying to go hunting after Rod Tang. And now he's come back to the game plan, which is stay out long and try and pick him apart and then maybe come in hard for the occasional flurry. Rod Tang's just trying to get in his face and stay ready for any opportunity. Which obviously, you know, when you're always walking forward, it's much easier to run onto those shots. Um, but the advantage is when you're always walking forward, it does feel like you have the momentum. Pushing the other guy around, sometimes you, you being the guy like always on the back foot, it's all a mindset thing of being like, a mindset of being like, I'm making him chase me rather than I'm running away. And it's such, it's such a mental game that happens to you. Look at that. Punches himself in the head and then rips a liver shot. Teeped in the face first. Dorf. Nice. Oh. Very cool. Right, let's skip forward a bit. Where are we? Let's get to the action. Haggerty's blocking, checking, but sometimes he's not getting that shin out. So it is technically a check, um, but you know it's, it doesn't hurt Rod Tang as much kicking his uh, kicking that outer muscle rather than hitting the shin bone. Again, Haggerty's trying to stay, trying to stay long, but Rod Tang's just staunching him, just walking down. Wherever he goes, he's following him. He's, he's all over him. Very, very stifling. When you're that guy and someone's just in front of you the whole time, very stifling to deal with that. So you can see when Haggerty's got him, sorry, when Rod Tang's got Haggerty on the back foot like that, and it's kind of like shit, he just gets caught in, in a little bit of no man's land every now and then. He's just playing catch up, trying to defend whatever he throws. Whereas when he's long, at least he's got some time to sort of deal with that by teeping him away or using a long jab or teeping that front leg as he did there. When he gets right up close, hey, he tends to just cover up. See there, he's still got him long enough that he can hit that switch kick. I don't know if that looks like a bit of a slip. Nice kick. Rod Tang's just timing that body kick so nicely. Cool, nice footwork from Haggerty. Just trying to, trying to keep Rod Tang guessing. See, so someone's just walking forward, they're less likely to walk forward if there's a threat of them being hit. So Haggerty is making an attempt to sort of keep him busy, keep him a bit more tentative from coming in there. Again, there it is. Still staying long. You know, Rod Tang's turn to sit on the back foot and chop away when Haggerty comes in. Doesn't, does not seem to be ideal for him. You now he's sort of, yeah, Rod Tang should, yeah. Maybe he's just playing with it, he's still probably figuring it out. Throwing, trying a bunch of different stuff, throwing a bunch of shit, shit at the wall and see what's sticking. But now he's going back to that forward forward fighting because that seems to be what was working for him rather than sitting back and letting Haggerty, you know, Haggerty being the taller fighter and he uses his range well, obviously. Um, not a good spot for Rod Tang to be to play the sit back and wait game. Definitely he seems to be doing a better job when he's walking forward trying to stalk Haggerty down. Yeah, I was gangster. That sweep. He go went for that sweep, jumped over it. So cool. Using his shin in like using that that uh that arm holding his leg as support as a way to sort of power up over Haggerty sweeping. So that was pretty cool from Rod Tang. Hard to pull off. 
very hard to pull off. Yeah, he's trying to play that long game. He's just, let, he just letting Rod Tang get a little bit too close to him at that point. You can't play the long game once they're already inside. See, now you've got to keep him out there, keep him out there. Rod Tang's just... Just like the Terminator. <laughs> he eats a bit coming in, Rod Tang, but it doesn't seem to phase him, you know? Like, he's obviously come with a mindset like, I... I he, he's gone, I can't worry about getting hit all the time. I have to, I have to accept the fact that I'm, I may cop one on the way in, but once I'm in, I have to stay in and work. So you see there, he's, he's trying to deflect it, but he's just no, no pressure. So he, he's calling him out. He's going, fuck you, play my game, not yours. And how can he be smart not to get sucked in for that? Look at this, once he's on the inside, once he's close enough, it's anyone's game. I don't know what that is. Is that a cut? An eye poke or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's an eye poke. Oh, accidental, obviously. A bit of thumb in that. Hit like that. It's the problem with these little gloves. You're not happy about it. Uh, not happy at all. So what's that, a two minute rest or something? I don't know, let's get on with it. Skip ahead. What's going on, are they trash talking each other across the ring? Some real mind games here, like being, being a fighter Mmm, some real mind games. Being a fighter, being in that position where someone's calling you out, your instinct is like, fuck you, how dare you, let's go and do it right now. And if you can't see and your ego gets the better of you, you come out, maybe you can't see, he gets clipped. But Rod Tang's just, again, Terminator mode. Oh. This dude is a passionate fighter, Rod Tang. That would be so difficult to deal with. Just an angry, strong dude walking out, yeah, relentless. Obviously, so wow. Obviously, fit. What's going on? Mouth guard. <laughs> oh wow. Just, just not wanting to mess around. He's going. I've got him hurt. Don't worry about my mouth guard. Even Elias, the ref, calling him on. Rod Tang is absolutely disregarding his own health in order to get inside Haggerty. This dude is a gangster. It's like, it's, it's not correct. It's not something you should teach. Like, walk forward. Where a hit to give one, that's not, wow. Huge. That's absolutely not something you, sh you would teach your fighters. Go, all right, don't worry if you get hit, just keep walking forward. Unless it was like, in a fight, go, hey man, we're not gonna, we're not gonna outpoint this guy. If you wanna win, you gotta go in and go for it. Um, something you would say during the fight, but not something you would encourage people to practice during training, if that makes sense. You shouldn't, yeah. Shouldn't enc definitely encourage people to get hit. This guy's, this guy's an animal. Let's go back. Okay, this is the eye poke from the eye poke on. He's just shitty, just so upset that there's been a break. Because he obviously feels like he's got momentum. 
So it just feels like I've, I've got the momentum here, and maybe if he, he maybe Rod Tang believes that Haggerty's just milking it, trying to trying to disrupt that momentum because that happens. Sometimes you get a, you get a big break, have get get your win back, you know. Like so, I like I get if especially if he doesn't believe that he and he, he wouldn't have intentionally put that thumb in. It's just been a byproduct of his punch. So he's probably going, hey man, this is a fight. Um, I think Haggerty had a good game plan. You know, trying to stay long and throw those um, throw those longer shots on the outside, the teeth, the jab, like, and not not let Rod Tang get in. I think that was a really smart plan because obviously, look, Rod Tang's got one way that he wanted to win this fight, and that was just by putting the pressure on and and uh, and taking it to him. And Haggerty, like, either two things could have happened. One is Rod Tang was just too much, um, and just managed to work his way in and, and pull Haggerty apart like that, just because he was he was better. Or uh, Haggerty ended up giving in, letting his ego get the better of him and going like, all right, well, if he wants to fight, I'll fight. And I, I tend to think it's more like Rod Tang just managed to overwhelm him. Yeah, look, he's trying to, he's trying to run, he's trying to stay on the outside. He's, he's doing the right thing. Yeah, yeah. Just Rod Tang's too much for him there. And then, like, see there, when Rod Tang, and this is a hard one, because it's like, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Rod Tang's gotten in on him, and he's gone, okay, I don't want to be here. So in his head, he's thinking, get out. So he's like, oh, block up, just weather it, backpedal. But it's so hard to backpedal effectively when someone's already on top of you. So probably the better option would have been try and tie him up and clinch and, and duke it out in there because he wasn't doing too bad in the clinch earlier on. Um, try and mix it up in the clinch with him or sort of actually stand and, and trade a little bit. Um, of course, that opens up the risk of two people throwing, throwing at the same time. That opens up the risk of someone getting caught and Haggerty doesn't want to get caught, obviously. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like the right, the right option from hindsight would be when, when Rod Tang was all the way in, that's probably not the time to just run. That's probably time to handle the situation and try and clinch him, tie him up, and then get out either once the clinch has been broken or just stay in the clinch. He can clinch with him. He was doing a good job of that. Yeah, see here, he's back, 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 you know, just trying to get out, trying to get out. You know, probably would have been better off just tie him up. <laughs> Rod Tang, this is so cool. This dude's bad, this dude is bad, in a good way. Yeah, see that, even that there, he's, when he's clinching there, he's not clinching to, to clinch, he's clinching to subdue, to, it's just kind of like, oh, I'll just, I'll just deal with it rather than be like, oh, I'm in the clinch. Let's, let's dominate this. Because he, because he absolutely could do well in that clinch if he, if he really said, no, nah, okay, now I'm here. I'm going to clinch and not just, all right, let me, let me get some air until I break. So yeah, you can tell he doesn't really want to be in that clinch. Just trying to get out, trying to get out, trying to get out. He's saying, stand here, motherfucker. Wow. Just eating shots. Man, that is like, dealing with that, someone just, you're throwing out of it, they're going, fuck, come on, like that. <clears throat> that. That in itself, like, makes you go, what do I have to do? Boom, catch you later. Yeah, unreal. What a cool, what a cool fight. Um, yeah, just just having someone throw those big shots at you and, oh, sorry, you throwing those shots of big, uh, fuck. You throwing big shots like that at someone and them just eating them and being like, what? I remember I did it once, I had this guy, like I threw the biggest, biggest right hand I could and, and his head went, oh, like that. And he just looked at me afterwards, I did it again, boom, and his head went, boom, and he came back. And, uh, and I remember being like, 
we have to do. So, very cool. Thanks, Frey. Thank you for sending that through. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, so, in conclusion, Rod Tang's a beast. Um, I might have to go back and check out the first one in another video. Oh, that, was, that was really cool. Cool, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, see you in the next one. If you have any more uh, videos you want me to break down, like, subscribe, our, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any more, send them through. And, uh, yeah, I'll have a look. Cheers, guys.